fight against the whites, British against the Dutch, like I told you. There are some famous people, of course, in the later stage, like Nelson Mandela, of which I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Nelson Mandela when we get to his statue at the Neville Hill, about his history and his role in the in fighting for, for, for the locals. All right. Um, the British got a kicking out of the Dutch, and on, not only them, out of the, the French as well. So they were like kind of a punching bag for everybody. Even the Basutu gave them a punch, just a little bit. Uh, Is that the first one? Yes, there. Okay, on, a, on the far right, that's the oldest building in Bloemfontein. The first Russell dated 1849. Started first as a school and then a church, the Reformed Dutch Church, also known as the RDC. On our left hand side, this is the old president's seat. It was used by the last three presidents of Bloemfontein, also known as the Orania Free State at the time. And it, it was owned, the land was owned by a guy called Sir Henry, he was British, Sir Henry Wadden. He is the designer of this, sorry, of, 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 of the first rattle, but his stall where he kept his horses are right when you go through here, which is now the tourist information center. All right. On the right, on the left, uh, your right, <laughs> that's the, the one of our courts, um, magistrate court. Mm. Now, the Bloemfontein, this is where the river used to run, but in the 19, in, in 1911 to 1912, there was a flood, then they had to pave it instead because it took a number of uh, their livestock, cows, sheep, so forth and so on. On our right hand side, this, uh, right hand side, this is the Supreme Court. At the time, it was at the time it was built, which is 1857. Uh, sorry, 1861. It was worth 60,000 pounds. Hmm. Yes. That so that's up, up up until today probably the most expensive building we've ever had. That small building there, more than the president's. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Back to the beatings. Back to the, to the punches. punches. Back to the punches. All right. <clears throat> now, um, the clash started when they had a conference in a city hall, of which I'll show you uh, as, as as time goes by. It will be on our right hand side. They had a meeting to resolve all of the differences they had, but couldn't find it because of one stubborn Dutch guy called, called uh, Christian Rudolf Tibet. He was stubborn, but he was productive in whatever he did. Because he, uh, he even ran for presidency at a certain stage after the last president, President Martinez Tienes Stein. I'll tell you more about it when we get to the Women's Memorial. All right. Remember that one picture you saw on the statue? Right. We have the, 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 the literature museum on the left hand side. Afrikaans as well. English, Sotho, right in there. If I go too fast, you will <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. Unfortunately, you guys don't have enough uh, time here to learn about all the uh, the history and the the languages, the involve, uh, involvement of the languages. We're going to provide some lectures. Sorry? So we'll have lectures on that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, on our, on our right hand side, this is the fourth Ratzel, whereby all of the legislation of South Africa, uh, uh, sorry, Bloemfontein, takes place. All right? Of oh, the Free State, yes. Um, State legislature. On, on the left hand side, this is the, the appeal court. Sorry. Is that the appeal court here? Yeah. It's the highest court in South Africa. It's the highest court in South Africa. More than a constitutional court? <laughs> well, I think now maybe. For now, yes. The paper, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, now, the statue that you see on the right hand side is of the Dutch guy Christian Rudolf Tibet. He was an army general, soldier. Uh, he's one of those who, who defeated the British and a river, a little river towards um, Lesotho called Sanas Post. That's Afrikaans, Sanas Post in, Afri in, in, in English. All right. He was quite a resilient guy. He, um, the British tried to uh, bring him down but couldn't. 
because he was politically strong and educated as well. And what? Educated. E educated in politics. His father, he, came, he, he comes from a very good family of politicians. His father was a judge at a certain stage. So uh, he knew what he was talking about and what he was fighting for. All right. But then there, there are, of course, some tragedies that happened to the Dutch group at the time. Uh, no, just let's go just straight to the to the to the Nebel here. Uh, let's start with the with the with the um, the Olivenes first. Okay. Please, please. Okay. Turn here then. Okay. Uh, no, just go down. Up yeah, straight. yeah, straight. Please, 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 please. The, on the right hand side, that's where all our taxes are going. South African uh, Revenue Authority, also known as the SAR. Unfortunately, everybody has got to pay their taxes. So, feel free to ask any questions. It's a good thing that I'm looking at you. Uh, with other groups, it's a big bus and I won't be able to... Uh, I'm not able to see their faces or hear their questions. So feel free to uh, see something and then ask about it. And then I'll tell you. Sell the mother leaders. And you you guys measure distance in miles with kilometers and uh